All right, so I'm doing this video kind of as a request, uh, sort of. So a uh, good DJ friend of mine, Nick Lopez, asked uh, what is probably the easiest way to get out of using iTunes with your Serato library? Uh, him along with myself back in the day and tons of other DJs uh, that have been using Serato for a long time did a lot of their organization in iTunes uh, just because one, it lets you use other DJ platforms such as Rekordbox because it would show up in there and you could do all your playlisting in one place. Uh, but when they moved to from iTunes to Apple Music, the connection to Serato kind of broke and it doesn't work as well and it can be finicky. And I know a lot of DJs uh, that are having issues and want to stop using iTunes, but they kind of feel handcuffed. So this is my solution. This is probably one of the easiest ways to get out of the iTunes ecosystem or Apple Music ecosystem if you're a Serato user. Um, and for the record, I'll be referring to Apple Music as iTunes uh, for the rest of the video just because it's what most DJs know it as. So let's go ahead and switch views. And now we have iTunes open on my Mac. Now, I went ahead and threw in some songs that I downloaded last month. Uh, I don't use Apple Music or iTunes, so mine was empty, so I had to fill it up with stuff. And to do the transfer, I'm going to be using Mixo. So I now use Mixo to go ahead and move all of my uh, metadata, cue points, loops, etc., playlist fr in, from or in between Serato and Rekordbox. But it does a really good job of moving from iTunes into Serato crates. And you know, it's cheap monthly, or if you just need to do it one time, you know, just move everything during the 30 day free trial, nudge, nudge, something you might want to think about. So let's get back to iTunes. And what we're going to do is go to up to file. Then we are going to library. Here it is. And we're going to go ahead and export library. Or if you want to do playlists, uh, which I'm sure a lot of DJs would like to do, uh, you can just go ahead and export uh, playlist by playlist. So actually, let's do that. So let's go ahead and make a playlist. Say, uh, <laughs> Serato Escape. And we'll go into all the songs we have, drag that into the playlist. Here they all are with this new ugly format that I really don't like but I know you can change, but whatever. So let's go here and go to export playlist. And we're going to save it. Uh, let's see. I know Mixo has instructions, so let's go and figure that out. So import from iTunes. And you're going to save it as an XML. Okay, of course. So let's go back here. We're going to change this to XML and let's just save it to the desktop to make it really easy to find. I'm sure you could save it to whatever folder uh, is best for you. And then we'll go back to Mixo. And then let's go ahead and find that file desktop. There it is. As you can see, it has the 41 tracks in there. And let's go ahead and import. Now Mixo is going to go ahead and do its thing. Um, it's pretty quick, I would say. Import complete. See, that was super fast. Now let's go export type and we'll go to Serato. And then you'll see it has the playlist that we just uh, imported into Mixo. If you want to see the files, uh, they're here somewhere, right? Here we go. Serato Escape, here's everything. So let's go back to export. Serato, and we'll just do this playlist. And we'll go ahead and start export. And just like that, it's done that fast. So let's go ahead and open Serato and see. And this is uh, one thing I love about Mixo. It's super quick um, importing and exporting, especially when doing it to Serato. So here at the bottom, here it is. Here is the playlist with all the tracks in it. And once it's in here, you know, once you get all your playlists in there, you can go ahead and turn off that iTunes integration, which I currently have off, 
which is right here. And you don't have to worry about that. So move all your playlists, get everything in here, and you know maybe make a, a folder for all your music just to have everything uh, that might be like kind of loose in iTunes. And then dump it in using Mixo, then turn off that iTunes integration, and you're all transferred over. And that's basically it. So I hope this video helped uh, for all the DJs out there that have been trying to figure out a way to get out of using iTunes in their Serato. I preach and tell every DJ that's still using iTunes every time I see it uh, when I'm playing with somebody else. Like, why are you still using that? It, you know, it's bogs down your Serato. It makes it not work as well it's, as it's supposed to. So here's the best and easiest and fastest way out of it. I did that in real time. Um, so give it a try, download Mixo, get the free trial and, uh, move things around and stop using iTunes in your Serato DJ. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more DJ related content, be sure to click on one of the videos right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.